Hi guys, welcome to our show, To The Game. Today, we're going to be talking about a little recap of 2020 and so on, other topics, but right now we're going to do a little catch-up. No mustard. To see. Go to <laughs> hell for that statement. <laughs> we're going to do a little catch-up about our past week. Um, Victoria, how was your week? You know, just punching my uterus a million times until it stops oh. hurting. Okay. <laughs> she said, <laughs> <and> fight. <laughs> oh, yeah. Girl, I got some tea for you. Ooh, is it different tea? Yes, girl. Oh, Lord. Okay. Mm hmm. Well, that's different. <laughs> what, you, what you mean? He's waiting to after the show to tell me? I mean, I'm um, Patreon. <laughs> Okay, so after we get this done, our Patreon segment, we can do that, and then we can start talking about the tea. Wait, what? So wait, the Come fourth on. topic, and oh my god, the fourth topic in the notes, that could be for Patreon. Um, yeah, it can be for Patreon. See it. Oh my god, my, I'm gonna just... <sighs> this is the thanks I get for bleeding. Shut up. <laughs> so, do you suggest? Okay, so is this your remedy for period cramps or cramps? Just to suggest what punch? punching? My... Okay, well, see, it was like two a.m. I'm asleep, or I don't know what time it was. Woke up to pain, no. <laughs> and I tell you, all the positions I tried to sleep in, lay in, sit in, stretch was not working. You know how um Candice was dancing in the squirrels in my pants video? That's how yeah. I was looking. And nothing yeah. was helping, so I was like, you know what, let me just punch this hoe. And I did, and it felt better, so I was punching my uterus <laughs> for, like, 20 <laughs> seconds every three minutes. And I'm still doing it, and it's still working, so. Oh, okay, so, guys, you hear that here. If you have period, period, any cramps, period, you know, any cramps, just, you know, Mike Beat Tyson. That okay. <laughs> Mike Tyson, yo, me, me, me. That, I'm only I'm picturing that picture with the little boxing gloves and the, oh my god you know what I'm talking about you know I'm talking I hope about. it's not popping up ma'am ma'am I'll find it I'm, ew, that's a real country I'll find it <laughs> and I'll send it to you I said man <laughs> but is there any more besides you out here punching your you put it um I found out how much my um books are gonna cost for the semester. One book alone is $215, ma'am. I don't need that book. I don't need it. (laughs) There's no use. There's no rent. There's no digital. It's just... There's no book events? You don't get a book event? Or you you don't... Oh! I don't know. No, I have to go up there. Okay. Other than that, that's it. I gotta go to work. I might just claim that I got COVID because... Don't do that. Um, what time you got to go into work today? Four. Oh, uh, girl. Hopefully by that time, young Mike Tyson did you this enough. And I mean, if it's not better by three o'clock, it's up. Mm. And I don't took medicine anyway. <clears throat> what's new with you? Um, <laughs> not much really. Today's my last day at the warehouse, and then I start Instacart sometime this week, and then the little other job. But I've been chilling. I went to my little cousin's birthday party. All I heard yesterday was the NBA young boy. So you can understand how I'm feeling right now. I just want to fight. Only thing that's going to my what's that um little he be like. It's a little hum. Trinity kept humming it, and it got stuck in my head. It's like, mm, mm, mm. Uh, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> round and round, round, round. And they play Quebec. They can't play. I know the dance. Like, we can do the TikTok. They play Quebec. Like, like, <laughs> yeah, so a whole lot of TikTok dances I learned yesterday and a whole lot of mm, 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 Yeah, that's stuff in my head. I go by young boy. Oh, we got people in here. Hey, y'all. I didn't see y'all coming. Hey, y'all. I don't know who you are. What's up? <sighs> but yeah, same old, same old. Focusing on me, myself, and I working, getting to the money per 
Anything new in your love life? Anything circulating, speculating? That's for the Patreon. Percolating. Do the percolator. Oh, that's for Patreon. The... That's for Patreon. Oh, okay. That's the little Pee Okay, cool. Okay, so let's hop into this topic. So, Vic, I want you to be as transparent as possible and serious a little bit. A little bit. About how your 2020 went. Being serious in the same sense, girl. <laughs> Boo. I mean, I want this because this segment is supposed to take up most of the show because 2020. What, 2020? What's that fun call? <laughs> what happened? Um, okay, recap 2020. So, boom. Beginning of 2020 in one worry. Turn 21. Um, girl, I was, oh my God. I can't, oh, that was just this year, bro. 2020 was long as hell. 2020 <laughs> was the longest, it was like as long as the Harry Potter book. That's all I'm gonna say. It was, a, it was Harry Potter. I can't Potter believe I was at that, that low down, dirty. T- I was over there at the beginning Girl, of this year. It was, you was over I there. I escaped. So, yeah. Honestly, that's how, it, that's how it feels like you escaped prison because, girl, that was not Ooh. it. But continue. Um, I was very skinny, very giving you twig, giving you crack addicts, giving you flat iron. <laughs> um, and then when did I move? You moved like I think it was before, like beginning of February. Yeah, I was gonna say it was before my spring break trip. And it was there, you know, working when I first got there. Oof, chai. Um, I was a little, a little wild, a lot of wild. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's a little I honey. But I was going to the gym every day, yeah. safely, and I was drinking the smoothies and the the protein shakes. Um, gaining weight, and but then my first month there, I gained like twenty pounds. So. Mm-hmm. So it was deep, deep, deep. Yeah. Period. Per. Um, <laughs> and then, oh, I did find out that I, um, I like to row, and I started to business with that. I need to get back on that. You do. Um, you do. Yeah. And then that happened. Then I moved over here in October. And now I've been here. That's basically oh, and then we we got into a little mishap. I gotta add. We have to add a code name. Um, oh, we already have one. Where the list at? Just call. Just call Shotty Boondocks. Just call. Boondocks. But I was a guest on Boondocks, and all that happened. Woo job. Probably later on. After I turn 22, we'll get into that on Patreon because, yeah. That's a topic for another topic. <laughs> That's a mm. little titchy. That's a little titchy. We don't know y'all like that yet. Mm. <laughs> we don't know y'all like that. <laughs> Other than that, that's basically it. Besides being in somewhat quarantine. Mm. <sighs> Well, child, I'm gonna just be a I'm be honest. I came into 2020 crying. <laughs> no, cap. Was, no cap, I was crying, I was hurt because I, hey, I came into 2020, like New Year's. I came in New Year's crying, but why? Because that's when, worse? yeah, that was because that was when I was in a relationship and all that stuff was taking place. and. Yeah, so my 2020, like, I feel like my 2020 started off in the worst possible way <laughs> because I wasn't happy on New Year's. I came in 2020 crying. I was hurt. And I was still in a relationship at the time, but basically not. So, yeah. Okay, so this is the thing. Like, 2020, like, I was trying to get back into, you know, GVC, start school again. And, you know, I had to write papers. I had to go through a lot. And I had, like, a big meeting with, like, you know, the head of registration or whatever, like the president. And like on the way there, I'm just crying. I'm just sad because like I'm trying to figure out why is this happening to me? Like what did I do type? But and the thing is in the moment, like when he said, you know, I'm gonna let you back in because you have a history of like you have good grades. You just, you know, it seems like a certain time you might slip up, but you're good, you know, just do what you need to do. I wasn't even as happy as I should have been because I was so sad. 
So yeah, like I feel like I had a I feel like twenty twenty opened up with me on blessings, but at the same time it's like I was overwhelmed by all the hurt and like how it was the confusion I was going through at the time that I wasn't able to really understand what was happening. That you know, I got back into school and yeah, so I got I was in a lot of pain, hurting. Half of twenty twenty, like I stopped eating for a little bit, but I Start therapy, which is a blessing. I feel like everybody should, you know, hella therapy. <clears throat> and then um, I ended up breaking up with who I was with. And for a while, we had a little back and forth toxic situation. It wasn't like completely toxic, but a little toxic. But then that ended. They moved away. Cool. Um, And then, you know, I started doing stuff that I, you know how like you be like, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I started doing stuff that I said I was wanted to do but never did. So I feel like in a way, all that hurt and pain kind of was a blessing because it pushed me to write. It pushed me to start working out and doing fitness. And now we get, got our podcast. I feel like 2020 was a year of not saying what we're going to do and actually doing it, you know? I wish a lot of people was like that. Girl, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> <laughs> but, um... Yeah, but now I like I got into you know spirituality, you know, Ted Rose well with you, but not doing it, but you know, watching. <laughs> and I've just been more I've been on a, like growing and still growing. There's places I still need to grow in, but 2020 has really taught me a lot when it comes to people and relationships and friendships. So it's like here on out, I'm just moving how I need to move and protecting my energy, protecting myself and healing. You know, and every day not gonna be a good day. I still have bad days. I still I get so emotional, baby. <laughs> but yeah, I know Beyonce. But yeah, 2020 was a puta, and I don't appreciate that. So how about this? Is yeah. Spanish? I, ooh, caught me on guard. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, that was not English. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 2020 wasn't shit. So, but. I feel like everything happened for a reason. I feel like me and you got closer, most definitely. So, yeah. I appreciate 2020 for little, you know, pieces of blessings they handed, but it was still bullshit. Don't get real. twisted. <sighs> but, yeah. What's the next? Right, well, that's all I got to say about 2020. 2021, don't come in here on that bullshit. <laughs> I mean, we say that every year, but it's always gonna be some bullshit that's gonna happen. I feel like that, but I don't. I feel like twenty twenty was a year. Just if you ain't grow, if you ain't learn nothing, if you ain't coming out of twenty twenty with a business, or you don't, you don't even have to have a business, Ooh. or like just a new mindset or something. Girl, no shade, no shade. If you're not coming out of twenty twenty with something different and added to your life, what was you doing? What was you not blowing O's? <laughs> not in the club. Please. Not not the old bro. Why why what the, what the, oh, why I really okay. I feel like you're as men and you're always going <laughs> out and you blow the O's. You're always putting <laughs> your mouth on a hookah, bro. You're you're low key gay. You're low key gay. What? There's 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 no. It's the everything being gay to you for me. I don't think nobody gay no, they blow they do doing mean, hookah. It, it's just why does hookah have this hold over the black community? Where they come uh, from? Somebody said somebody said y'all need to cut y'all soul ties with hookah. <laughs> for real. Because like okay, but I mean, okay, cool. It's cool to go out to a hookah lounge, do a little drink. That's cool. But I mean then every time you go out, you go to the hookah lounge, every time you step out, there's a hookah involved. I'm just really? I just, I just feel like it's not good. And you use you. Like, do you angle to promote it to share with everybody that you're blowing O's and hookah? Just blowing O's and hookah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is, be, no, I bars. had, I had told, I had told one of our, one of our friends, like you keep blowing that like a bad. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you talking? <laughs> I told him yes, I, and I said it's it's you switching every hookah stick for me. <laughs> Why you got two different hookah sticks? <laughs> yeah, I had to told him that because come on, Shawty. <laughs> Why? Why is it a thought machine every time? <laughs> <sighs> okay, let's get into the next topic. Okay, so um, next topic is do's and don'ts. Of 2021 edition, like okay, we need to um, put hashtags because there ain't, ain't a lot of people up in here. Yeah, hmm. change the hashtags. Put um, 
Did Beyonce really say that? Hashtag. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> People gonna come in here still shouting. I wonder if people be on here still with me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We should have a little talent show one day. Come in here and start singing in the way. Ooh, that would be funny. That could be on a day where it's like, it's not a show. We just on here messing around. Yeah. Sing a talent. Let us start oh, talking. Go ahead and start the uh, second topic. Why oh, okay. So the second topic is 2021 do's and don'ts. And, you know, the first do is, you know, if you didn't do nothing in 2020, you need to do it in 2021. All that talking, all that rah, rah, all that, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Just do it. Just be about it. 2020 taught us a lot. 2028 um, was hell. And I feel like we got to make the best out of what we was offered and what we, the knowledge that we were able to get while we was in 2020 so just do what you always want to do live your life for you life is short and that's what we show that we've shown that all year it was a lot of death it was a lot of heartbreaks it was just a lot is going on in this year so take 2021 grab it by the neck and wrangle strangle that hoe and do what you want to do like don't let nothing hold you back and for most part don't let social media make you feel like you're behind in life because you're not just do what you want to do and the don'ts is don't don't come over here. This is don't come in twenty twenty one talking about I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. I don't want to hear that no more. I just want to see it. Just do it. Don't talk about it. Be about it. Real moving silence. Thank you. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. And can we also stop the toxic relationships? Can we at least like you know lessen the number? Can we start back to healthy relationships? In a pandemic, girl, they find a way. But yeah, I don't want to talk about relationships no more. What does that mean? Relationships are just for the birds, honestly. Because all niggas ain't shit. Oh, see, I did it again. I tried. Yeah, I, tried. I didn't. I wasn't even talking about relationships. Like, and you still did. Oh. You still did. But yeah, um. Oh, my best friend just shared our podcast. Appreciate it, bro. <clears throat> but yeah. Um, do what you want to do in life. Stop holding yourself back because the only person holding you back is you. And you know that. Stop being lazy. Stop making excuses. You know, just do what you need to do. That's all. That is all. What? Why is that the caption? Why is that the title of it? <laughs> What the, we don't even talking about that. It catches people's attention. She said clickbait. <laughs> Are you going to be a Mm-mm. no sorry celibacy? But um, I don't know if you can't talk right now because you muted yourself. So I don't know if this is your oh, turn. because. No, ma'am, I'm still punching myself. Thank you. Okay. Hey, kitty. Anyway. Girl. <laughs> um, but, I mean, it is a valid question. Are you going to be a hoe in 2021? No. <laughs> I'm preparing to be a single auntie. I mean, being a hoe, it, it depends on what type of hoe you are. It could be a conversation. I mean, though. so when that chats up, the chatterbox, you just chat in. Yeah, you just, yeah, chat to chat to chat to. Never oh, stop talking. <laughs> You're ruining it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bye. But are you, what are, what are your, what are, how are you feeling for 2021? I mean, I'm always open to a conversation. As long as you talk so about you're them. so you're a conversa- you're conversational. Okay, but see, when I'm single, when am I not one? I'm never one of those um, just popping the woo-ha for everybody, and that's just ooh, too much. But will I run my mouth and have conversations? Yeah. Mm. Okay, I mean. That's not really. I don't, how many different types are there? Because I've never heard of a conversational. Okay, there's a conversational one. There's one that's you know doing everybody. 
spreading diseases. Anyway, <laughs> oh, um, God. there's one that you can be in a relationship and you're actively talking to some to other people like that. That's just a cheating hoe. That's all I got. Number three. Um. Well, can you um inform us on your do's and don'ts for 2021? Don't. Okay, hold on. Do not <clears throat> talk to me. Don't even. Don't even okay. Don't even. Don't even try to get into relationship with me, unless mm. hit the Debbie Ryan. Unless um, you're on my list, and it's only two people on that list, and one of them is a celebrity, and I know I'm never going to come into contact with Jawan Harris, so. Not you want to talk to Jerron Harris. I, I've always Jerron Harris and Princeton, Jacob Lattimore, everybody except for Prodigy. Always. Um, Prodigy, Pro, I said Prodigy. Prodigy <laughs> gets so much hate. What? Did, why? Why do y'all hate he's Prodigy? Not, he's he's mediocre. You think he was the Beyonce of the group? No, you're Michelle. No, he actually did carry the group though. It was bad. We, oh, we're finna get to okay, we're finna get into this. You're not finna sit here and act like Prodigy did not walk for the rest of the Prodigy tonight. was unattractive. Prodigy did okay, too much. Bro, okay, bro, we're not okay. Gonna, no, no, no. Who no, we're talking Kristen about this because no, Ray Ray they, they did not carry the group. Bro. They did not carry the group. Yes, Prodigy was the Prodigy lead. Was if it wasn't for him, he was the glue. He was the glue. No, you can say he. Glue. You can say you can say change the topic. Change because we you know, we gonna get it. You 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 bruh. You are not finna <laughs> sit here and like he did not carry my behavior. That's like saying Regine carried. You know what? You're not finna sit here and not give him his props. If it wasn't for him, he led. He led. He led. It is okay to admit it. Yeah, he's not cute. Yeah, he's not attractive. But yeah, he left. He, he was the lead person in the group. Who voted for that? Okay. Okay. Obviously, they did for a reason. Out, no, bro. You can ask any Miley's behavior fan out in the world. They can tell you Prodigy was not it. Everybody hated Prodigy being number one. It should have been Princeton. Okay, but obviously the the formula worked because they were famous for a good minute. Can we just give him his props? He there. He didn't do no. nothing wrong. No, there's no problem. It's, for the, Prodigy. it's the hate. If Prodigy, it's the hate. This, you can hit me up in my DM. You're not getting any props. I don't care. Prodigy, I'll give you your props because you walk so the rest of the group can run. It's okay to admit it. He was the backbone. He was the he was the glue. He was the super glue. Gorilla glue. Gorilla snipe. Don't nobody so, need got him. To be Didn't nobody boho. need him. Didn't nobody <laughs> need him. The only time I need him is for the reunion. Girl, if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't know about them. Shit, period. You don't know what goes on behind. You don't know what goes on behind closed doors. Wait, wait, wait. Would you rather have Prodigy in Mama's behavior, or would you rather have Jacob Lattimore? Okay, but that's not how it happened. Trevor Wallace. Trevor Wallace. Trevor Jackson. Trevor Jackson. Trevor Jackson. First of all, I don't even like Trevor Jackson like that. Oh, you gotta go. We're not friends no more. You like Trevor Jackson? I mean, I like him, but I don't know his music to be like, oh, yeah, Trevor Jackson. Like, no, I don't. I don't. So You said so Beyonce you or that, Prodigy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, what's that one song? Dang. It wasn't a Sprite commercial. I know who he I know who he is, but, girl, I don't just sit and put on no Trevor, whatever, Jackson. Now, let's say if we, if we throw Diggy in the mix, then okay. But that's not what happened. What happened was Prodigy was the lead for a reason, and he carried the group. Yes, he looked disgusting while doing it, but he did it. Now, if Juwan Harris, I wish Juwan Harris would have carried the group, honestly. Honestly, yeah. truly. Oh. If we want to talk about, if we want to, if we want to talk about if, it should have been Juwan Harris. He should have carried the group. That's how I feel. He should have been in the group. He what happened have. to that? He really should have. I would have voted Juwan Harris way before Prodigy. Prodigy we could have been a non... I don't know. I'm sure. Juwan Harris? When he put out T-shirts, Where? Another Planet with Chris Brown. Right off the bat, um, 
Chris Brown, but his, you're his, little, um, his music is good. Like, no cap. He dropped a CD. I forgot. That's when CDs are popular. Yes, we're old. LOL. Well, he dropped a CD. He had handed them out because he used to go to GCA or whatever. He gave he handed it out. His mom did. So we used to listen to his CD and it was good. Like, he, he he's a good artist. I, would, I don't know where he is now, but yeah. What are they now? Hmm, I should DM him. Girl, what? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I'm okay. Done. We have to talk because but I'm gonna add a new segment to our show. It's I know the name and everything, but I'm not gonna reveal it yet. I'm gonna reveal it when we um do it. So yeah. I'm oh, sure. and don't delete the notes until after I um I write the description. Okay, cause he, yeah. Because yeah. So I mean, yeah. I had to listen to the episode to figure out what the heck we talked about. Okay, I'm gonna delete it. I'll just probably add it for Wednesday. <sighs> okay, finish your do's and don'ts. We over here arguing about product. Okay, hold on. <laughs> and also, I want to say, we gonna stop disrespecting Michelle. Yes, Michelle would never touch Beyonce in no certain way, but Michelle did help a little bit. She did make a little <sighs> statement, a little impact. What's the other girl named What TV? impact? Toy, what's uh, the other girl named that got kicked out? It wasn't in TV. Who was Toy? Oh, girl, I don't know. No, she looked like. Oh. The girl that, that, um, that play on power. Yeah, her and <laughs> I think that's a yogurt name. I don't think that's it. I just want Activia. I don't know what's going on no more. Oh, <laughs> he like Tivia, girl. Okay, go ahead. Finish your do's and don'ts so we can get to the next topic. Like I was saying, if you ain't doing hers, or um, <clears throat> don't come for me. Don't even try to talk to me. Don't. And um, catch me on another planet. I'll be up in Mars. That's my song. That's my song. Don't get me started. Don't get me started. Please don't. Um, okay. I don't know. I really don't know. What's what is the don't? Don't touch my food. Oh, keep the distance. Don't touch I don't my food. The They're talking about there's a new still. They talking about it's a new strain of COVID out this um worse. I heard it on. Somewhere. Girl, did you see the super? Guy I don't know. Oh wait. How did y'all really gain superpowers? How they get their powers? But I didn't get mine. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. How how they gonna give out powers to STDs? But I can't get my powers. I see. I'm not a favorite. <laughs> wait. Okay. Call it how they be, be making anything up in the last I don't want you gone regal. <clears throat> what, bro? That's Little Wayne's song. I just bleeped out a few words. Call it how we should have a um on Wednesday. Do you work Wednesday? Uh uh-uh. You know that today my last day at the warehouse. That's why we'll have you know our schedule will be better and stuff like that. Oh, let me see if I was on Wednesday. And if I do wake all my shifts with um Instacart is in the morning. In the morning. Mm, what's my schedule? Oh, Wednesday. I work four to eight. Why are you checking that's that right now? <laughs> Cause I was gonna say we could do a wine Wednesday. Oh. Um, over here. Okay. Um. We so should do that. Like, we should go. We should go live on our Instagram and do. If we do that, we should do that on our Instagram live. Oh, that'd of be course, funny. Of that'd be funny then. But what was? Are you talking about? You know, relationships twenty twenty one. If you're not Jawan Harris or whoever else, is, I think you said Rock Royal. I don't know. I don't be listening. Wow, you don't be listening. But we supposed to have okay. Girl, shit. Uh-uh. Oh, we not gonna get into that last night. You was already being toxic last night. How to be to- Oh, cause I said neglect. <laughs> <laughs> and no, then you kept going. You. <laughs> I have fifteen. You. I have fifteen jobs. Yes, I got off early yesterday, but I was still busy. Yeah, because I definitely check your location. I'm like, okay, so she home. So why don't you text me back? Because she ain't sleep. I was not home. Girl, you your location said home, and I know you ain't got no other iPhone or nothing. So if I sitting at home, so you was lying. Why you lie so much? How would what? First of all, that's the problem with your so Apple. You need to call your Apple provider, your carrier, and see why it's giving you the wrong oh, location. Where the hell was you at at twelve o'clock in the morning? Oh, I was home. Never mind, I was home. Oh, okay. I didn't know it's. I was home. 
Girl, I don't run the streets at night. I am not Batman. Uh, you run the streets during the day. No, okay. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, that laugh. That was it again. <laughs> um, what I was going to say. I also like arguing. Um, what do you want to argue about? What? <laughs> um, let me go. What's you got the third? In an arguing mood. How? Oh, because it's about my behavior. Yeah. <sighs> well, we need to get into the third topic real quick. Shoddy off topic like crazy. Okay, third topic. Um, you want to talk about the Patreon right quick, and I'll switch to. Oh. Okay. Hey, which uh, prodigy you talking about? The rapper or the rock star? Oh, we were talking about prodigy, prodigy of mom's, be- <laughs> mom's behavior. Yeah, <laughs> you got people thinking you're talking about somebody else. <laughs> the script, about the Sorry, you were talking about um, probably different miles behavior. Um, I don't even know the rapper. <laughs> wow, not a rock star. This shows me. Um, go ahead and talk about the Patreon real quick. Okay, hey you all, hey y'all. So we have a Patreon. It's too risky. T W O space R I S Q U E. Wow, I swear to God. Girl, my hold on. My goal is to steal your man's 2021. I see your captions that don't line up it's to what we're talking about girl. for me. <laughs> oh wow. I keep forgetting Trinity is working. Um Yeah, y'all can go on Patreon and y'all can become a Patreon member, risk taker. You have three tiers. You have the support one, which is one ninety nine. You have the second tier, which is um the risk taker, that's a couple dollars, and the ultimate risk taker, risk, I don't know. It's all on there. Go to our Instagram to risk game. It's in the bio. And, um, yeah, and you can also listen to our podcast on Spotify. Yeah, that's cool. Nick? Okay, so I guess we're going to get into our real goals for 2021. My goal is not to take your man, because I'm I'm not taking nobody's man because if I could take him, somebody else could take him from me. Nigga logic. He might be the last one. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but I mean, they always be like, you get it, you lose him, how you get him, honey? <clears throat> Who but, that must be the T ringing. But, um. Oh, <laughs> what if you steal somebody, man? And y'all get to doing whatever do 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 do, and the man got <laughs> dick cheese. Would that make you steal the wrong man? Would he you got like what? help him what out with his it? dick cheese, or would you, you know, continue on with that man what you the stole? Hell is that? First of all, I don't know. Did what that he is. say cheese? The... Yeah, I don't know what that is. You mean and super also, is it... Ooh wee. Is it me? I guess he sound like Will Smith. It's you. It's you. Listen, it's listen you. next time. It's listen you. next time. You gotta listen harder. But I don't know what that is. You gotta explain that. Um, if I've we talk about STD, I I couldn't do that. I'm sorry. I, what? I mean, how do we get here? I, if you steal somebody, you might want to like get them checked. I mean, I ain't stealing Mm-mm. nobody. It's just yeah. Quick Wait a minute. So, how old are you two? We are young. We're of right? age. Of age. Mm-hmm. I'm a. We're young. Wait, come on. We're, we're young. young. We. <laughs> we're young adults. I'm 22. She's. I don't know. 21. We're young. We. Wow. Yeah. But it's okay you're, because guess who's birthday is in 30 days? You're. You're still a baby. We're babies. <sighs> <clears throat> Be, I've never heard of that. I wanna, I wanna Urban Dictionary. I'm about to look it up. Yeah, I'm me too. What is that? What it look like? Like what? What does it look like? It says like a sewer. Bacteria growth under unsuspect. <laughs> That's nasty. Okay, so y'all really not gonna steal nobody, man. Y'all just put that title up. That's some dangerous shit right there. At least you legal. Just be careful, though. So that's a mess if you do that shit, because 
What if he got like his nostrils stank? You don't know about it, but he looked good, but his nostrils stank. His earlobes stank. Um, I mean, you got to start putting the right topic caption. Because <laughs> I can't even help with this. Because I do not know what to add. But yeah, that is dangerous. And like, for the females that do be out here stealing folks, man, I wonder why y'all do it. Is that fun? Like, is it a sport? Because I couldn't. That's just, because I feel like, you know, what goes around comes around. So if I steal your man, somebody's going to come and steal my man. So I'm not going to do that. I mean, ain't no man to steal, but. <laughs> I'm just still stuck yeah. on this definition of the cheese. It's very disgusting. And I wish it's I never a... knew what it was. No. That's like when I found out what Congo is skin. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> Congolingus. <laughs> Ew. Yeah. Um, um what was what was the um fourth topic? Um the goals for twenty twenty one. Oh what are your <laughs> Z big exclusive. All right. This is the men of thoughts. How are we doing today? I'm sure you went through a great deal of information uh, as it pertains to the topic. My apologies for the absence. I do have a question, however. Um, it says, who uh, carried the group, Beyonce or Prodigy? Uh, are you referring to Prodigy the rapper or uh, Beyonce and uh, Destiny's Child? Um, I'm not, uh, not clear on exactly um, the question. Uh, if you could uh, expound on that a little bit. Um, I would appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Hey, Thanks. minute. I forgot wow. how you said your name. Um, um, first of all, your pronunciation. Amazing. And I forget to the words. <laughs> you talk very nicely. I really appreciate that because I'm a haunt to death. Um, we were talking about Prodigy from Lawrence Behavior. And then we also said something about Beyonce and Michelle and them from Destiny's Child. But yeah, that's about it. Yeah, it's, it's a sport. Some women, some men do that because they feel like the ego kicks in and they think like they could, you know, take somebody's man or woman. But you don't know what you're stealing. That's true. It's kind of like this. You know how uh, you go to the church, right? They got some good food at the church, but you might get a rotten apple or orange when you peel it. The skin is all bad, but, you know, the orange is covered like them clothes is covered on them humans. <laughs> that man and that woman. I don't know why I said human. That's some bullshit. Hey, be careful if y'all think about the shit. Like, if you tapping your foot real fast, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, girl. I'm going to do it. I'm about to go steal him. <laughs> but what if he got chap lips? What if he got that white shit in the corner of his mouth? Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, he said, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. Not the, yo, 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 yo. I, of, I'm not going to say no. Like one of the most that, pet peeves that I have. That disgusts me. Like, you don't feel that build up, bro? And, oh, um, oh, and you can see the earwax in their ear when you look over and they driving or something. Or oh, sitting next my to you, God. And you just see the little bud of wax. I just feel like you, just don't, you don't clean yourself the way you should. Like, your Q-tip should not be the same color as your feces. Oh, wow. But I feel like you should be able to manage cleaning yourself a bit better. Uh-uh. It ain't hard. hard. Uh, yeah, so you, you say that you, it's three people, so uh, that's named Prodigy, but you got the rock star. His name is The Prodigy. And then you got the rapper from Mob Deep. His name is Prodigy. Both people oh passed away. God. Rest in peace. Both them Are too. You? But you said there's a third Prodigy. I don't know who that is. See, that's our it's age from, group different. Yeah. It's, yeah. Um, back in what? 2008, 2009? Maybe 10? Um, that was like when boy groups boy and group. girl groups was yeah that's when boy groups and stuff was popular but like our generation type not on no you know boys to men yeah I like to ask a, you uh, you both a question in regards to Beyonce uh, herself uh, 
would you consider Beyonce a legend? Uh, when I think of a legend, I think of someone that produces uh, classic albums, not necessarily, you know, summer hits or, you know, uh, catchphrase uh, songs. Uh, Michael Jackson comes to mind when I think of legend. You know, if you don't even, if you don't, if you're not even familiar with uh, some of the uh, Michael Jackson songs, uh, when you hear it, you know, you start to recite the words and it takes you to a certain place. Do you believe that Beyonce uh, has enough classic albums to be called a legend? And um, does that even matter? You know, do you believe that's, does that even matter? Um, I would like to hear what you think about uh, about that Beyonce. Uh, is she a legend? I appreciate it. Renaissance. Speaking you know, of like me, the, yeah, the way he explained it, like, I wouldn't, I don't know every song off of Beyonce's albums, and neither do I with Michael Jackson. But if we're comparing the two, I feel like Beyonce have her legend ways, but and she has songs that aren't just summer hits. She has songs that are classics. She has songs that, you know, I will sing forever. But when it comes to Michael Jackson, I don't feel like she's at the same level as Michael, if I'm being honest. But Beyonce, she is a legend in her own way, but it's just, mm, I don't know. I rock with Beyonce, but I'm not like no hardcore Beyonce fan either. But I love the girl. <laughs> That's no. good. Oh. See, when it it depends because you said they're like albums or songs that can just put you in a certain place or time. Yes, there is a lot because I I know a lot of Beyonce songs. Um, I stand, True. but I'm not one of those hardcore Beehive fans out here. Um. Oh yeah, I forgot I about them. Let me be careful about what I say. <laughs> She can't really sing to me. She really can't, oh, but she does make good music. God. She no, you did it. Beyonce she not, can sorry. sing. Oh, to the beehive, to, to the beehive, Beyonce can sing to me. The exclusive is the one that said she can't sing. <laughs> They're not gonna I mean, come she, take to me. To me, she can't. She really cannot sing, but she does make good music, and and her voice is easy to listen to. But am I going to compare her to, like, Aretha Franklin or Anita Baker? Hell no, she ain't got nothing on them voices. No. But Beyonce can and does make good music. But I feel like the only... You, mm, she's not the only person I feel like... If I if you think about it, the person that really should be at that... I feel like Jasmine Sullivan really should have... I yes. feel like she's, like, underrated. Because her voice is beautiful. She has songs that I will sing on and on. But she just don't get, the, like, the attention or credit she deserves. And, like, when we talk about voices back in the day, like, her voice ain't no back-in-the-day voice, but it touches them because she has such a good... She has range. Hey, I heard somebody shaking their foot. Who was that? I heard the... Somebody was shaking their foot real fast when I sent that message. That was... Hey, that was on point. That was probably Zeke. Yeah, I know, he, I know he did. <laughs> I know he did not just <laughs> Damn, hold up, young lady. You talked about generation. You just brought up two sisters who are legends. Mm-hmm. Damn, you said Anita Baker. And that was before your time. Mm-mm-mm. That's what's up. Speak that. That's facts. They be like, what you know you about? They be like, what you okay. know about that? Okay, no, no. Listen, if you put Anita Baker, Aretha Franklin, Diana Ross, um, who another good? Jasmine Sullivan, and um, who's another good uh, female? Jennifer R&B? Hudson. Jennifer Hudson. Girl, no, that's that's choir. That's choir singing. We're talking about actual. Oh, um, shut up. It, they, she still got range as well. Yeah, but I I can't. I'm not gonna sit here and listen to Jennifer Hudson all day. Want, want me to say? Fan, want me to play Fantasia? Want me to say who are we talking about? Fantasia's not in this in this in the tax bracket. Um, yeah. Not oh. tax bracket. Um. Oh, okay. Whatever. Just dump three people and put Beyonce in the same room singing competition. Oh, girl. Beyonce gonna fall. <sighs> she. I don't think Beyonce gonna, gonna fall, but like she's not gonna. She's not gonna touch them both. She's not gonna touch them vocally. At all. Now, for the generation different, it's wise, different. this age group, yes, she is considered a legend because she's Beyonce. That That's what the answer is. Beyonce came from Destiny answer. Child. 
Beyonce carried that shit out. She did. Look, when it came to comparing them to them, no, she don't touch them. I'm like, girl, the way they sang back in the day, I wish they sang how they sing now because it's just a whole lot of auto-tune, a whole lot of stuff that I don't want to hear about. To be a part of this generation, I don't want to hear about half the stuff they be talking about. It don't do nothing for me. It don't get my foot tapping. <laughs> it don't do nothing for me. It don't touch my spirit. Because when I do listen to old school music, it touch my spirit. Like, it just, it do something different. I be feeling like on Sundays, I be just listening to, that's my old school music day. Mm-hmm. And it's just, I got this playlist. I'm gonna send it to you, and it's got everything. Got all of them on it. Who makes better music? Answer right now, or we can't be friends. Mary J or Beyonce? Pick wisely. Mary J. All right. I rest Mary my Mary J. You know what? You know what? Most my, my favorite, not girl. Mary J. Got some good songs. Like she's not one For of my real. favorite artists, but she has some good songs. A lot of good songs. I'm on my hand. <laughs> Girl, that's basic. You talk about something else. Let's do a different song. Everybody I know that's basic. Okay. Oh, you're so mm-hmm. No, but you're singing it. Against my wind. It's <laughs> Girl. You know, okay. Let me see if you know what this song is. <clears throat> We talked it over. Natalie Cole, come on. Now she gonna start playing it. <laughs> yeah, I did. Natalie Cole, yes. Yeah. And we both agree. I'm sorry, I love old yeah. school. I appreciate the uh, candor from you both. Uh, let me ask this question: a versus battle, Beyonce, Ariana Grande. Beyonce. Mm-hmm. Beyonce. Well, Beyonce, that but Beyonce. Ariana, I love Beyonce. I'm sorry, cause Beyonce. automatically it'll be Beyonce. Cause, cause I mean, cause she's black, you know. Um, she's one of the. I stand um, Ariana, but but Ariana's I not would say take I that. listen to Ariana Grande more than I listen to Beyonce. Ariana got some good songs. Don't get me wrong. Ariana got some good songs. She do, but Especially she's not going. Last, she's uh, not going. She put out. Yeah, I'm gonna be crazy, but she's not gonna play it to Beyonce. I need to stop playing because okay, I know they. I'm killing you. Beyonce ears. got range. She has a different soul. She has the runs. Now, Ariana Grande, she whispers and she squeals. Beyonce she's screams. Get, Ariana, Ariana will get here. there. Ariana whistle. She like, she already got the whistle. Let's talk about Rihanna. Does Rihanna fall into any of these categories? Rihanna cannot sing. That's just that on the net. But she does make good music. Rihanna, she does. Rihanna's more so of entertainer. Not we ain't on the music topic. Go ahead and change the name. Uh... Jennifer Hudson and Fantasia can sing. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, he said, "Come what's correct." The, what's the Caucasian young lady? Uh, she, Christina, Christina Aguilera. Christina Aguilera. <laughs> Christina Aguilera. Who can powerhouse? But they not, they not legends yet. So, and you can't put. I hate to say it, but you can't put Beyonce with Fantasia, Jennifer. And Christina. You sure you can't. You sure can't. Hell, you can't yeah, even put Mariah Carey with those three. Who can powerhouse can. and, can and uh, move the, the, the earth no like Michael. So, but Natalie, Anita, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Those, those man, <laughs> she is. She's speaking facts, young lady. Well, you got you, you know I gotta get in this motherfucker. Hold up, for did you just say Mary J over Beyonce? <laughs> okay. Now he upset. Beyonce. The reason why is because Beyonce is versatile. True. When she did the records with Jay Z, and she, she rhyming and shit like. Mary J got a ghostwriter. Beyonce, I don't know if she write her own stuff, but I'm not saying she a lyricist, but she could, man, she can do some shit. She versatile. Mary J was out first, but Beyonce killing it still. Mary J doing, you know, the same shit since the 80s, like Royce Royce. Oh, oh. 
Okay, but what pain did Beyonce go through in putting her songs to make other people feel her pain, which is none of them? No, Mary J. No, 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 resentment resentment no you can't say beyonce ain't putting no pain in a song and i'm like when you ask it yeah 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 and then um i thought you were speaking on range when it came to them oh i feel you can't yeah don't don't yeah okay i didn't think about don't don't do that but i thought you i didn't think you were speaking on versatile i thought you were speaking on like range and everything because like i said i don't know that many no range yeah because Mary J. Blige is not versatile. That's why I said I don't know all her songs like that because I don't like all of them. But when it comes to range and certain songs, then yeah, Mary over Beyonce. But when it came, Beyonce put Resentment, Dangerously in Love, Best I Never Had, One Plus One. Girl. Oh, Beyonce got yeah. some. Beyonce do got some heartfelt songs. I think about it. Yeah, so we're not going to sit here and not sing Beyonce. So he's right. I, but I am going to sit here and say Beyonce can't sing until I die. She can sing though. It's just, it might to not be you, the kind of. Are you, you saying like? Are you saying like sing or sing like the sing? Oh, I'm maybe you can sing like, or you can sing. I will go to a Beyonce concert maybe because I know all most of the songs and I feel like she's a good performer and I would feel happy. Speaking, but is it gonna is it gonna touch my soul to where I feel like she can sing I would, like? Uh, Jazz and Sullivan say like, "Ooh, that girl can sing." Like you could just, you could just know, you know, when she opened her mouth, she could sing. No, but I speaking of concerts, I've been to at least two or three Beyonce concerts, and they were amazing. Like that made me, you know, fall more in love with Beyonce. I Beyonce went to her performer. formation tour. She's, but she's live vocalist. She, she can handle herself live. Like she's not out of breath. She's not. Hold on, y'all. But like Beyonce, mm-hmm. the way Beyonce carries herself in the industry and just vocally, I rock with it. Oh, no, you did not say, Re- wait a minute, Rihanna or Beyonce. Now, that's another story right there. Rihanna. I would choose Rihanna over Beyonce. And it, it has nothing to do with looks or race. This is music. Rihanna. She cold. <clears throat> Beyonce can sing, but Rihanna, I will, I will definitely put Rihanna with uh definitely over Mary J. Blige. Mm. And I will I would definitely put her with next to Aaliyah. That's who I would put Rihanna with. Mm. If Aaliyah was alive today and Rihanna was working with her, they can make hits with Kelly Rowland. Unpopular oh, see, opinion. I feel like a, I feel like Aaliyah a, is overrated. What? <laughs> I feel like Aaliyah is overrated for me too. But I'm gonna play these last few messages and we gonna respond to them. And then we gotta close out because yeah, I got stuff to do, shall we? Nah, see, you young ladies need to to do research. A lot of these artists out here can easily make like you <sighs> young ladies gullible. You got to listen to the pain and you got to actually be in these people's lives. They're entertainers. That's what they do. They entertain like we doing right now. We entertaining. We're entertainers on this stereo. So if you actually walked next to her or been in her pain, then I can say you can speak them facts. But she's an entertainer like Beyonce. So, of course. You know, certain artists out there got to make that money to make that move. She was part of Bad Boy. Come on now. Do your history. Hey, what y'all think about Adele? Um, you believe she's the truth or, uh, you know, she's, uh, you know, riding that train, you know, as far as, uh, you know, black choir music. Um, what you think about Adele? Because, see, Beyonce, I'll put it this way. Beyonce can sing, but if she was in a karaoke, karaoke, I'm sorry, karaoke bar, people would think she can sing. So, yeah, she should. She would be on American Idol. She'll start all over American Idol. I think she was on some other show back in the day, some talent show. American Idol, she would blow up. She would have her own record deal just like uh, Fantasia. 
But she's not Fantasia, though. And Fantasia, as we know, they, hey, they, Fantasia actually showed her pain. <clears throat> Left eye showed her pain. They wrote about that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because it was facts. It was shown on television with video, not pictures. So when you talk about Mary J, I never seen no videos. I never seen no, no, uh, I seen videos like music videos, but I ain't never seen no actual real reality. I mean, to answer all the questions, yeah, with Mary J, I mean, they, she talked about her story, but I'm not that deep into a Mary J like that, so I can't really speak on her too heavy. But with Adele, I feel I've been I've been on Adele since she came out back in the day, so I rock with Adele heavy. I I mess with her music. I don't know if she riding a wave or not, but if you pay attention to how they sing over there in London and England or whatever, they all they keep that you know old feeling type vibe to their music, so that's just their style of singing over there, and I I rock with that as well. <clears throat> But I can't really, yeah. Beyonce, I, I agree. If she was at a karaoke bar, they would think she could sing. But Beyonce, she has her moments. She has her moments. Vic? Um, Adele? I thought with her. Um, that's just because she's a good artist. Like, she's one of those artists where you would think, um, it feels black, but it's not black. Like, that trend on TikTok, that's what it is. Like, Bruno Mars. Um... Beyonce karaoke, you know I mean, yeah, she can hold notes, it's cool. Um, as far as paying with these celebrities and they feel I don't really give a much of a damn about their life, honestly. But it's just the way they, they write the music or whoever writes it for them and the way it's projected delivered. and it's it's yeah, delivered. That's how you feel pain. That's how you okay, like dang, that, that one line really touched me. Like you have to have some type of emotion. It's not really about what they go through because yeah. They have to go through a lot. They have to put in the song, but it's not gonna touch me. I'm like, oh, cool. I mean, I, I mean, I guess your your brother got shot. He died. You feel some type of way. Wow. Um, but you could probably never go through that. Never. You could just be talking about somebody else's life, and I would feel the pain. So it really depends on like how you write the music. It's a lot of me. A hey, pink can sing. Pink used the black community. Oh, she yes, talked about yes, pain, yes. too. This is why I'm, I'm trying to get y'all ladies to understand. Mary J. Bly did the exact same thing, except she's a sister. She did not trade and go to the white side, but Pink did. The young man, uh, the racist young man, I forgot the dude's name. He's from Michigan, but he used to rap with rappers and shit. Then he turned clan light. -like. So some of these entertainers be faking the funk because they want to get where they want to go. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> real art, there's real artists out there like Lauren Hill. OK, mm -hmm. if you want to if you <laughs> if you want to compare to put Lauren Hill with Mary J. Blige. Lauren, mm -hmm. Lauren Hill. Mm -hmm. I mean, it really ain't but no comparison. It's not. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the show because we got to go. I'm going to put this last message right quick. Yo, I'm not sure if I'm off the subject, but question. Can y'all name one Beyonce song that, like, makes her, like, a legend? You know how every, like, other female <laughs> artist has that one song? Like, and you can't use no Destiny's Child shit. Give me that one record that, like, makes us feel like she's on that level of, like, a... Uh, you know, a legend. There is not oh one song God. that I can name. It's, I can't name a song that makes her a legend. Because when, you think, when I think about Beyonce, love off rip. <laughs> when I think about Beyonce, when it comes to her being a legend, I think it comes to the part of her entertainment part, like when she does her concerts and her. But when it comes to songs, yeah, I don't, I don't have that one song. Where it's like, yeah, I'm gonna play this for my kids. <laughs> so. so it said that Little Wayne is responsible for damaging a whole generation of uh, rappers. You know, um, I've heard that uh, he's like a gremlin that sprinkled, uh, that water was sprinkled on him and created a lot of other rappers with little in the name. Do you believe that Mary J. Blige is responsible for a lot of 
black women perspective towards men. Uh, most of her music is uh, downtrodden and, you know, uh, you know, pain. And I'm sure she, you know, went through all of that stuff. But, you know, it wasn't until later on in her career she started uh, making uh, feel good music. And it wasn't uh, she hasn't made a lot of songs, you know, you know, positive songs. Do you believe she's responsible for a lot of uh, women uh, perspective towards the black man? Thanks. Um, um, for that generation she released for, maybe, yeah. Because music does have influence and like the whole little Wayne and Little and then the Youngs and stuff. Yeah, people, people take that type of stuff and run with it. What she said. Beyonce for this generation is Tina Turner. <laughs> That's who Beyonce oh, is. Well. <laughs> Tina Turner blew a uh, she blew it up back in the day. Beyonce is the new Tina Turner, even though she has an alter ego name uh, Sasha, Sasha or something like that. But I'm not gonna knock Beyonce at all. I think she stands out from the rest, and she's a great, she's an excellent entertainer, and she can shake the world. I mean, she's got a good follow. So um, she definitely stands out from from Rihanna. I don't, you know, they had a battle, you know, Beyonce versus Rihanna, but Rihanna stands out too. So she got her own lane. They both do. That's true, and I'm gonna wrap it up this time. I I feel like everybody stands out in their own way in the industry, and like with some people, yeah, they do have like certain plans, like how you explain kinkies in the black community and going to pop. Yeah, that that's real. But I'm just going to wrap it up. Follow us on our Instagram at Too Risky at T W O R S T Q Q U E <laughs> on Instagram. Follow us separately on our pages. They are in the um, bio. And also, if you want to become a Patreon mem member, we have three tiers. She explained it earlier in the show. <laughs> so you can subscribe to whichever one you would like to. And just stay tuned in with us on social media for updates on the next show. And I enjoyed everybody's input and on the conversation. I enjoyed the conversation as well. Y'all, you know, y'all speaking facts as well. So thank you for tuning in. We appreciate it. You want to add anything, Greg? Um, <laughs> no, you covered everything. Okay. Y'all have a great day. Peace out. Bye, guys.